Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! It is Thursday. It is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the time of times, and welcome to the show, known as Clown Live. I am your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake, okay? And this is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. Welcome to today's show. We've got just a few... Pro look, look how empty the table looks today. We've got just a few products on the product table to take a look at. Everything else today is just kind of going to be some B-roll that we need to catch up on, some products that I want you all to take a look at with me today, and that's just kind of where we're at with it. So without further ado, let's jump in right in to today's show. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. I think we got a show planned for tomorrow as well. So let's start. Let's start talking products right here, right now. Uh, and let's start with the Anchor PowerConf C200. Now, I actually have the camera right over here. There we go. It's on the tripod, actually. Boom. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we don't have our product camera today. We're only taking a look at six physical products. So I think, uh, I think we're going to be... All right. I think we're going to be all right now uh, without the product camera. Okay. Now the Anchor PowerConf C200, this is it pictured on the box. And this is it right here. Okay. This little guy, we can actually pull this off the tripod. And uh, yeah, now I do have my tripod mount to it. So we can take that off. It's not a big deal. We're not using the PowerConf today. So, okay, here it is. This is the, oh, <laughs> I'm used to my camera being up here. This is the Anchor PowerConf C200. All right. It's got this mechanical shutter that when you close it, not only can you easily tell that it's closed with the red shutter being uh, covering the lens, but also uh, it turns the camera off. It doesn't just uh, put a shutter over the lens. It also features a dual microphone array, one microphone on each side, and has a nice little grip to mount easily to any monitor, basically, that fits this little uh, grip here. You can also mount it to a tripod, which is ultra handy, and it features a USB-C connection on the back. Kind of, I know it's kind of hard to see there, but it is recessed but there is a USB-C connection in there. And that USB-C connection comes out. Oh, CD says, hi, do you cover any PS4 stuff or PS5 stuff? Um, no, no, I don't. But I do have a PS Vita and I do have a PS4. It's right here. I don't know if the lighting can pick it up or not, but I do have my PS4 right between my glass and my, and my, uh, my storage um, cubby there. Uh, I do have the PS4. I waited in line overnight for my PS4, and uh, and that was a really fun event. It was the only time I ever waited overnight for a new product to be released. There were times where I did go get in a lineup before the store opened for a new TV, but that wasn't overnight. The sun was already up, but it was still really early. It was like, I don't know, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, and I ended up getting like a TV. I got the TV, actually this television, this television here, the, uh, I got that TV for like 500 bucks and, uh, I bought it all on points. <clears throat> Let me speak a little bit louder. Okay. Even though I'm very certain you can hear me clearly, but yeah, I, I went to there cause they only had a few on the, on the floor. So you had to be there early to get one. And, uh, and I got in and I got the TV and then I took it up to the cash to pay and I had been earning points for like an entire year. So, uh, so I earned like almost $500 in points, which was the maximum redeemable, but I only had like $470 in points. So I, uh, I ended up paying $30 cash out of pocket for that TV. Uh, but yeah, so I do have a, P a, a PS Vita, and I love that the Vitas have been super jailbroken now, really easy that you can do it from like a web browser, and uh, it's good for any firmware. So that's been making like the Vita become like a little more relevant again, I think, in, in the space of handheld consoles. Let me know, CD, if you're still joining me in the chat about the video game stuff that I'm talking about. Uh, I think when I got my PS4, I think I only got like Battlefield 4. And the reason that I got Battlefield 4 was because there was a store here that was doing a promotion that said, 
literally bring us any single game, any game from any system and any CD based game. I think it was, and we will give you a free copy of battlefield four. So we just like dug through our collections and got some old, like PS one crap. I don't even remember what mine was. And, uh, and yeah, we went and we got Battlefield 4. And then, of course, I got Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS4. But I never, uh, I stopped kind of like playing my PS4. There was a game on the PS4 called, uh, um, uh, what, what are those little AR bots called? What is that AR bot game called? Anyway, there's this little PlayStation made AR bot game. And you can use it to do like streaming to like, YouTube and stuff, you can you can open up like a little studio and then game share through the PS4. And I was using that very regularly with a PlayStation 4 camera to stream content to YouTube. That was a really fun time. Did that for a couple years. That was crazy. I, the PS4 was pretty powerful. Uh, what, uh, what was the name of that little AR bot called? It's been a minute since I said its name, so I can't remember. But... I see that you're not replying in the chat, so instead of talking about games, let me just jump back to the PowerConf C200. Like I was saying, a pretty powerful little camera with the microphone array in it, and the way that the the uh, the shield puts the lens puts the camera to sleep and not just covers the lens itself. And it's easy to tell when your lens is covered because of the bright red um, uh, cover. All right, now that. Anchor PowerConf C200. It's available today for uh, $48, and this is 20% off of its $60 average retail value. So get yours today. This is my second in command. My first camera is going to be like when it comes to I need a camera for something, my go to camera is always going to be um, the well, until I get like a better camera, whatever I think might be a better camera. I'm using the OBSBOT Tiny PTZ 4K. Uh, that's camera number one. PowerConf C200 has a 2K resolution at 30 frames a second and ranges a field of view between 65 and 90 degrees. So you do get like good coverage with the, with the microphone array and the field of view uh, and the resolution as well. So PowerConf is a great option for just under, whoops. PowerConf C200 is a great option for just under $200 today. Now let's talk about the Smart Drop. I don't even have to move for this. I actually have the Smart Drop. I have it on hand. I've showed it in previous shows, but today we are going to okay, talk about just the product page. And I'm going to get that product page set up for us here now. <clears throat> so let's do that. Let's get our page set up here. And let's just watch this video real quick about the smart drop. It's a really, really short video. Who you're expecting a package from. We're going to be walking through a mock delivery. The first delivery, since the last time the master pin was used, you can just open. No pin is required. The downside is it doesn't tell you who delivered it. It cuts you a video of it. The second delivery, after the first one, will have to enter a full pin. Enter the pin code on the address label and press open. And press open. The pin on the label can be set to let you notify who you're expecting a package from. When you're ready to receive your packages, enter your master pin, it'll open up, and you can retrieve your packages. This will also reset it so the next time you open is pressed, the lid will be straight up for easy package delivery. Yeah, absolutely. The, the the smart drop is pretty great because it does offer you that theft deterrent kind of of confidence. Uh, if you experience porch pirates a lot, this could be a great deterrent. Not only does it have the ability to have like a, a code that you can use to access it, but it also comes with keys 
as well as a 1080p camera and two-way voice that you can control through the Eufy app. Um, and also it has an alarm built into it. So like if people try to rustle it, it's going to make a loud, high-pitched uh, screeching sound that can be disabled by putting the pin code in, the master pin code, uh, or any pin code for that matter. You can also secure it to the ground, okay, because it does have anchor screws that are included in the box. Assembly is required. And really overall, the Smart Drop is not too bad of a device. And it's available today for $200, all right, and that is 50% off of its regular $400 price. So regular $400, get it today for $200, all right? And a uh, very similar deal they had the other day where it was $400 with a $200 coupon. Today, it's just straight up $200, 50% off, no coupon. All right. Now, let's talk about another product that I've got here in the carousel. And this is going to be the Anchor H30. Okay. The Anchor H30 is a portable home vacuum that is available today. All right. For $130. I think it just went up. It was just on like a sale for 109. Now, I really enjoy the Eufy HomeVac H30. It's under two pounds in weight. It's very light. It has a battery that you can easily pinch and remove. Uh, so if you have another one, you can keep cleaning going. But to recharge it, it's easy to just leave docked in the system and then put down onto this sturdy base that it comes with. Okay, super simple. Uh, it comes with accessories that are this powered he motorized head and also comes with a crevice tool that has a brush on it. And you can press the red button and retract the brush to show the hard crevice tool. Very, very ingenious, okay, to keep your accessories together like that. Now, it features a large dustbin, okay, and the dustbin is easily removable by pressing a button on the top of the H30 and sliding the dustbin off. Now inside the dustbin is a filter that is, uh, excuse me, a filter that is washable. It's also reusable uh, and it's also replaceable. So I think that's really great. You can use water to wash it, which makes it super easy to clean. Uh, it's super easy to remove and dump. It features a low and a high mode, an eco mode and a maximum mode, two different modes. And uh, yeah, it just turns on with a simple button. It makes it easy to get up into the corners of areas or if you want to maybe agitate the surface of some furniture or the floor to pick up something that maybe the crevice tool isn't getting or, uh, or just using it without the uh, tools on it at all. Okay, the uh, the HomeVac H30 is available today for $130, and this is 28% off of its $180 average retail value. All right, now what we're going to do is talk about the next product in our carousel, and this is going to be the Fantic Next L1 Pro. Now, I've got this over on the table, so let's grab it real quick. <clears throat> All right, the Fantic Next L1 Pro is a really nice little cordless screwdriver kit that you can own today uh, for just under 60 bucks, and that's 25% off of its $80 average retail value. Look at this thing. It's nice. It's not like a flat, like a flat, like traditional kind of cordless screwdriver. I love that it has the bend in it so that it looks like a drill. It has variable speed, okay, on the trigger. variable speed and then it has different torque settings so that's what the number on the top with the, this little screen represents you can press to cycle through different torque settings uh it also has battery readout on it and the current direction that the screwdriver is currently moving it comes with a set of bits in the kit as well it is charged via usb-c and it has a usb-c cable included in the kit as well okay i know it kind of went redundant there with the as well but yeah a really nice little kit that you can own today for just under 60 dollars. here it is uh in all its glory the fantic nex l1 pro okay i pinched my finger just now shutting that all right now let's talk about this net these next two products
Okay. Now, the next product that we're going to talk about is going to be this Amazon Basics USB 3.0 10-foot extension cable. I actually have another cable plugged into mine real quick. Let me unplug that. It's actually the cable that comes with the Anchor PowerConf C200. But we don't need that right now. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hold on one moment, please. Oh, Stargazer says, hey, I can't stay long. Going to get the little joy of my life in 15 minutes. Hey, you know, I'm so glad to have you here now. Thanks for coming out and just simply saying hello. It truly means the world, especially when the chat is exceptionally quiet. Uh, any engagement is so welcome. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to the show. Okay, you know where you're at. It's Clown Live with me, Dragon Blaker. Hey, eh? All right, let's drink a little bit of water real quick. <clears throat> oh, you know I love you. I love you too, Sheila B. I'm so glad that you're here today. All right, now what we are talking about really quick is just a cable. It's just a cable. It's a USB 3.0 cable. You can tell because it's blue. This is going to be 3.0 mail to uh, uh, USB A type 3.0 mail to uh, to female. Okay, 10 feet long. This is great if you want to extend your camera. Right, I I, I took the camera off the tripod, but if you want to extend your camera or uh, when I when I initially got this. I was extending my little Ikuai hub, and that is really great because say say what I, I've got the perfect setup in the sense that I've got the lap I've got the perfect setup for outside in the sense that I've got my laptop I can put it on a table that I've got for outdoors and um, and then I've got the ten foot cable that runs guess what ten feet out you know what I'm saying so we can run this out to a hub. And I got a four port hub that is USB 3.0 or maybe 3.2 gen compatible. And uh, yeah, I can plug all my cameras into that hub and I could have like this whole great camera setup outdoors. I could do it indoors as well. Problem is this, don't have a lot of cameras. And today I spent so much time because I knew I was going to be sitting a lot today for today's show. Pardon me. I really was looking for like the ability to get outside. And go do today's show outside. I failed to do it. The issue at hand is that I don't have a long enough Ethernet cable. I've got power outside, you know, I've got extension cables. I don't have a problem to get the laptop and the cameras out there, but I can't get my Ethernet cable out there. And so I was clicking through the uh, I was clicking through the old Amazon warehouse online. And they have like 100 foot Cat 8 cables for like $16, $16-$17. So I'm going to look into that. I, I need a long cable to get outside. And then that's pretty much it. I think we can start doing shows outside. I wanted to do a show inside the camper. I want to do shows outside in the yard. Um, I got a gazebo that's 10 by 10 that needs a replacement Um uh, like gazebo top, the canvas for the top or whatever, uh, whatever the material is. And I think I found one here in town for 130 bucks, which I think is designed for the gazebo that I have. I bought my gazebo used from my cousin and I bought a top off of uh, amazon.ca, but I bought the wrong type of top. So I ended up like winning a gift card last year and I just left the money in the account. So I got like a hundred bucks or something in my Amazon account. And, uh, and yeah, I really need to get a new gazebo top. April's here. We've had gorgeous like weather that's been in the high seventies, low eighties for the last few days. But now after these, we're going to get a couple nice, a few more nice days. I think that lead into the weekend. And then after the weekend is over, I think we get like weather that goes from 70 one day to 40 the next day. So I know we're still in this spring transition, but man, oh man, we've got some beautiful summer-like days happening right now. And uh, it's, uh, it's making me open my eyes and realize I've got to get that 10 by 10 gazebo top. And also, I'll just say this about this gazebo top. Uh, it's at a store that is like five minutes or less away. So if I have a problem, I can just go return it. 
And it just seems like it would be uh, like a little bit longer of a process, um, like if I did it online. So that's it. Okay. The Amazon 10 foot cable, though, is super sick. I needed this and I use it every, every show. Every show that we use the product camera on, uh, this cable is running data to that camera. All right. Let me catch up on this chat real quick. I had a credit to use at the warehouse and you know, they have batteries and licorice. So I needed batteries, but got licorice. You know, it's funny. We needed batteries yesterday as well. We needed batteries for a while actually, but uh, we just went to the store and got batteries with some gift cards that we had since Christmas. And uh, we were just like walking through the store trying to figure out what should we buy? What should we buy? I think I figured it out. I think we need to get a new box fan. Uh, I think we need to buy a new box fan because uh, the box fans that we have are awesome because they're old, but they're like running their course. But like new fans, they just move so slow and they don't move a lot of air, I feel, compared to the old fans. So maybe I can like get somebody to take a look at my old fan, you know, but it's old and it's metal and it's loud and it shakes. But when you put it in the window in the back of the house and you have it sucking air out of the room and you open the windows here behind me, these windows here, uh, the air comes rushing in and, and really filters like fresh air through the house. So I never, I, I don't know if I can achieve that with a, with a, with a different box fan. All right. I'm getting a little bit off topic. Yo, what up Seabass? What up Travel Diva? I hope you both are doing great. Thank you for joining the stream. What two minutes and one minute ago, respectively. If you're still in the chat, feel free to say anything and also check it. I'm just wrapping up about this cable. Pretty standard USB 3.0 cable. Amazon basics got you covered. I have had no problems with this. I use it every day for months. It's very thick and it feels quite durable. Let's see what happens when I start using it outside. Uh, okay, the, the Amazon Basics USB 3.0 cable is available today for $9.40. So just under 10 bucks on that bad boy. I'm great. How are you? I am pretty excellent. I'm pretty excellent because we're about to talk about this Eufy pet water fountain. And when I'm done with that, then it's all B-roll for the rest of the day. So that's why we're out here sitting. Okay, we're sitting on a Thursday. <clears throat> and uh, that that's why I feel really great today. I'm glad you're great too. Uh, today is Thursday. Oh, no, it's Thursday at 524. Man, hold on. Shoot. There's this thing on Thursday that I keep meaning to do when I'm live and I always forget because I'm live. But we got a pretty relaxed day here today, so I think we can. Let's click on some things here. Four minutes remaining. Okay. All right, cool. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm doing super great, Travel Diva. Thank you so much for asking. I hope that you're doing very well as well. Like I was saying a moment ago, we got um, we got uh, this last product right here to talk about, the Eufy Pet Water Fountain. Now, I do have it here in the box, all right? Uh, here it is. This is it. This is the box that it comes in. Now, when we open this box, it's a really, really simple straightforward sorry if i hit the microphone with the box uh it's a really simple straightforward design here that is super easy to understand and assemble and uh, i'm just going to run over a couple a couple parts of these components that make up the up pet water fountain right quick okay sorry for slamming the box on the table i recognize sound travels through the desk and up through the microphone quickly Okay, this is the water fountain though. Looks like this. This is what it looks like in its completed form. Now, when we break the when we break it down layer by layer, what we've got is the stainless steel drinking dish. This is uh, this is where the water comes out of, and this is where it's collected. 
and then uh, it's fed down into an activated charcoal filter. Now you can get replacement filters for, I believe, a three pack for twenty dollars. The last time I checked, and uh, and they recommend that you replace the filters. I think like once every two weeks or something like that. Now you remove the charcoal filter, and you have the base in here that the water will run through the activated charcoal filter and pass through this little gill here and then drop back down into the bottom of the water dish, okay? And then I'm not gonna remove my straw, but when we remove the straw, there's just a few small components that you drop in, very simple, to uh, create the pump. And that's what pumps the water up, okay? So really simple to put back together. We put the uh, drain on, we put the activated charcoal filter on, we put our stainless steel top on, and then we have a little like fountain kind of like device that helps move the water uh, down the spout, okay? Makes like a little fountain to help the water move more and helps hold the stainless steel top on. Okay, now let me take the top. This is the entire dish, okay? Just like this, it's held together by gravity very simple. And then it drops in and is held in place again by gravity into this base. Now with the Eufy pet fount water fountain, you don't get the adapter, but it is USB powered. So you just plug this into like a five volt, two amp phone charging plug. You're good to go. Um, uh, Seabass says, Travel Diva, what do you think about hidden city ticketing where you book a connecting flight and get off at the layover stop? I heard the airlines frown on it, but you get away with it if you don't do it too often. Literally have only been on an airplane once in my entire life, and it was from Cleveland, I believe, to – it was from Cleveland or Columbus to New York. And that was in 2019. So yeah, so everything that you need to operate the pump is all built into here. You don't have to press any buttons or anything. You just plug it in, drop in the water dish, and it, and it functions automatically. When you lift the water dish, this stops functioning. If you put your water dish back in and it's not functioning, unplug it, wait a minute, plug it back in. It should be good to go. The Eufy Pet water dish is available today at a 28% rebate of its traditional $46 average retail value bringing that to $33 today. And what makes these great is that like nobody wants to drink a, a um, stagnant water, water that sits still. So the benefit of the Eufy Pet Water Fountain is that the water is constantly moving. And as a cliche often goes, a rolling stone gathers no moss, just like moving water. It doesn't really have the ability to uh grow bacteria or grow bacteria a lot less and it's also filtered okay let me grab my water it's actually so warm today that i took the fan out of the bedroom and i've got it blowing on me right now and it feels amazing okay uh i love the fan on me Okay, let's do, oh, it's muted, okay. <clears throat> All right, now we are going to take a look at some B-roll that we've got set up here today. And that B-roll is going to be starting off with, um, there we go. Starting off with the Nebula Anchor Capsule, I believe three. Is it Anchor Nebula Capsule 3? Let us check here. Here is our Thursday show. Let us jump down here to get all of our products. Yes, the Capsule 3. Now, this is going to be a 1080p smart projector. Let, let's just watch these videos together uh, and enjoy the rest of today's show together. I don't have a lot to say uh, at the moment, so let's let's peep it. Let's peep it, yo. Okay, this is the Nebula Anchor Capsule 3 Laser 1080p Smart Projector. Hey, Sharon. Today we're taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Capsule 3. This is their 1080p laser projector. Uh, this is a full portable. It is a smart projector, guys. It is Android 
11. That's right. Android 11. I is a mini projector, guys. It is portable and it is laser, so it is bright. Uh, it does have a two and a half hour battery life. Uh, that's on max coloration. You can dull that down and get approximately four hours if you want. Now, you do get anywhere from a 40 inch up to 120 inches. Uh, which is actually really, really cool. Now, it is 300 ISO luminous, which is actually 15% brighter than ANSI luminous, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, two pounds, guys. That's always two pounds. Uh, it does have the cabling in to charge this. And like I said, full on Android 11. Now, it is a 14 uh, 14,500 milliamp battery inside this. So when you open it up, you're going to be greeted with this cool little uh, page and then this little packet. Once you pull this little packet out, you'll be greeted with the projector. We're going to set that aside first uh, because in this packet right here, guys, is actually uh, your remote control, your greeting card, and batteries. It does come with two AAA batteries to put in this remote control. So with this remote control, guys, you do have the power button. You also have Google Assistant. You have the mouse control, home keys, and all of that, and volume. Now, on this projector, you do have one 8-watt speaker. Uh, it is a Dolby Digital speaker, which is actually quite cool. Uh, and then inside the other little package over here, you'll be greeted with the USB-C to USB-C charging cable, which is actually nice that they give you that option. Uh, you'll then be greeted with the power brick to charge this, guys. Hour and a half to two hours, it'll be charged. Don't worry about it. Um, standard American style with the USB-C on the back. I love that they give you this, and I love that it folds up uh, in a separate little box. You are then greeted with the projector itself, and on the back of the projector, you have your power button, guys. You also have your uh, autofocus key or keystone correction right there. You will then also have one HDMI port. One uh, audio visual 3.5 millimeter plug, and then you have your USB C charging cable. On the front, you'll have your lens and lens uh, projection site. You'll then have your actual auto correction sensor. So don't block that, guys. It'll auto correct itself. On the top, you guys will be greeted with all of the actual buttons that you'll need that the remote control can do right on the top. These will all light up. Very, very nice little projector, guys. Now, this thing's cool. What I'm going to do is show you guys on the bottom because it does have a tripod stand. That's right. It does have a tripod connector. So you can connect it to a, a camera tripod and use it just like that. Stick it on your ground, wherever you really want. Great little projector, guys. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go turn it on. We're going to show you guys it in use. We're going to have some fun. Okay, guys. Now that we have this hooked up, you guys will see that it's actually very fast and very simple and very quick. Uh, since it is Google Assistant's uh, setup, you can talk to it and tell it what to do. You do have multiple inputs. Uh, if you hit the input list, it'll tell you the HDMI. Uh, we'll bounce over to HDMI if you hit it. Now, if I go back, we're back to the home screen. Also shows that we're at 61% battery, but if we go into settings, this is where it gets cool. You guys, to see we're logged in. You will need to log into your Google account to actually download apps and all of that stuff. Now, in here, you also have projector settings. Uh, where you can do the brightness. Now, the brightness will determine your battery life. So I want standard, so it will chew up more battery. If I go to battery mode, it'll dull it down and save battery uh, for us. If I back out, we also have picture clarity, uh, standard movie or picture customs. Uh, we also have image correction if we want auto keystone, manual keystone, and all of that cool stuff. We also have focus settings where it does auto focus, auto focus advert movements. Uh, we then have sounds where we can set up movie, music, outdoors, or custom. Uh, very cool little setup. You also have Bluetooth speaker setups, and then you have your advanced settings. Uh, guys, next we're going to test out is a little bit of video footage, uh, and then we'll probably do a sound test or two. So you guys, give me a second. Let's swap over to that. Okay, guys, now we're taking a look at a little uh, royalty freestyle mo uh, video, guys. We're just going to let this play, and we're going to show you guys this. Let it just play and show you the colorations. Colorations are beautiful. This projector puts off a lot of power. If you guys look and stand in front of me, uh, if I stand in front of it, you'll see how much it's putting off because it's projecting on my hands. Uh, great little background motion, guys. Great little video. Uh, great little sound here. Now, guys, uh, just awesome little piece. Okay, guys, now that I have us on some royalty-free or DMCA-free music, we're going to play this so you guys can actually hear the speakers. Now I'm going to back it off a little, guys, right here until the music starts going. Uh, this is just a relaxed style music. Very clear computer. Now I'm going to try to control the vehicle. 
go back to the home screen guys very simple very easy guys the anchor nebula capsule 3 is great the, the hardware the accelerations uh, you can bounce through the stuff with no issues just like this guys watch it just click and scroll uh, no problems whatsoever I uh, have all the apps at hand that you could truly need I of course it's 300 ISO luminous and 1080p in a little act, small packed size I want to thank you for checking this video out and I hope you guys have a great one Honestly, the projectors are so sick, dude. These little capsule projectors just like feel like they do so much and they look so good. I've got a um I've got an Anchor Nebula uh Mars 2 Pro 720p projector and it just looks phenomenal. Uh so from my experience, I can only just imagine uh, like what these 1080p DLP projectors look like in person. Now, the Capsule 3, it is available today for the ripe old price of $680, and that is 15% off of its $800 average retail value. And, uh, I mean, yeah, James, he said it all. He said it all. So now let's talk about another projector in our carousel and it's going to be the Anchor Nebula Apollo, okay? Let's watch this video right now. This is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this absolutely awesome, portable, and budget-friendly projector, the Nebula Apollo. Anchor has been around in the game for a long time, and they've recently set foot in the projector scene, and this projector here actually boasts a 300 ANSI lens that supports up to 1080p, which is absolutely awesome that you're getting a full HD lens right inside of this little unit. Taking a look at the unit right here, as you guys can see, it's super small and there's not much to it. You do have some on-body controls, but other than that, everything on this is just very simple and easy to use. So taking a look at the back side, you're going to notice here that you actually have your power input USB input for a mouse or keyboard and an HDMI input. So you can plug this up into your computer, your Xbox, whatever it is that you want. And then on the back as well, you're gonna notice you have some controls. You're going to have a power button and also a mode selector button on the back. And you might be asking yourself, well, how do you control this thing and choose your apps or choose your videos? And there's a couple of ways that you can actually do this. So the first way that you're going to be able to do this is this little awesome touch screen interface that's here on the front, which it's not actually a screen, but it is a touch interface. And then the second is going to be the remote that they include. And the remote has every single thing you need to fully access this, but you can also control it with a mouse or a keyboard, which is super cool. But that's not why you guys came here. You guys came here for a video test. So let's go ahead and let that play. So the audio that you heard inside of that clip that I just played for you of the Lamborghini is playing from the Nebula Apollo itself. And honestly, it does sound insanely good. So good that they actually included a Bluetooth speaker function that basically kills the projector and allows you to play your own music without killing the battery life even more. Now back to the screen, this isn't going to look as good on video as it does in person, but you guys just have to trust me. This thing looks absolutely amazing in person. It's got very true rich colors. And honestly, I don't think you're gonna find a better projector in this specific price range. All right, guys, this was just a quick overview of the Anchor Nebula Apollo. So like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys have been looking for a new projector that you can just throw in your pocket and take anywhere, look no further than the Anchor Nebula Apollo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you, Nate. Now, the Anchor Nebula Apollo, it is on deal today. It's 20% off of its 
$350 average retail value, making it available to put in your cart today for $280. So not too bad. Now, Maximilian joined the chat and says, Today I purchased canned foods and other slightly non-perishable items, and I decided to go donate them to people indeed. It was a good day and the people who needed it. Uh, I hope we'll really be satisfied. God bless Dragon Dude. Yo, thank you so much, Maximilian. You're doing such nice things for the people around you. I'm sure that they all appreciate it. It sounds really, really kind and generous of you to be doing that with your free time, you know. And um, I love hearing that. How was the response to it? Was it a good response? Were you just like, here's a can to a person? Or did you like give them like a little bag that was made up of uh, of like goodies? Did you give them a little bit of stuff? Or did everybody just get like one can next in line? You know, let me know. Let me know how it worked out for you. And uh, yeah, the Anchor Nebula Apollo, it's available today for 280 Now we're going to talk about this star projector and I, I don't think that this is the one that I've got in stock, although it really looks like it. But whether it is or is not, we're going to take a look at our product page today about it. And uh, let's do that now. That, uh, this is their Galaxy projector for anywhere pretty much in the house that you really want to go, uh, put it. Now, the cool thing is it has 16 different colorations and eight soothing sounds, but it also can be paired with your phone to play your own music. So inside this, you'll have the device itself. Of course, we're going to pop this up and kind of show you guys this. We have the device cabling right here, USB to USB-C cable, which actually is quite cool. Uh, you do have the user manual if you need the user manual. And then we have the device. I'm going to pull the device out. Actually, I'm quite surprised already because inside here is actually a remote control. I was not expecting the remote control for this. The remote control looks like it changes the colorations, the patterns, and your music and timer. Uh, so I was not expecting that. Uh, then we have the device right here. Device, simple little device that shoots up the lighting into the air. And it does have the laser beam right here. And you do have some volume buttons and pairing buttons on the side. Now on the bottom is where you'll see the speaker. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this up. We're going to show you guys this shining on the wall up, up on my roof, or my ceiling, I should say, and we'll be right back. Okay, now that we have it hooked up, you guys can see we have it at the sky, and this is where we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to actually try and change some of the patterns and all of the other cool stuff. And as you guys see, we can adjust the patterns just like this. And that brings us up to that. Uh, we can do a one hour timer, two hour timers. We can go to music mode. We'll adjust that down. Change it to Bluetooth mode. And we have music mode. So the music mode does have different styling. We can change colorations, lighting patterns. I'm going to shut that off. We can turn it off completely. We can turn it back on. It's quite cool we can adjust all this like this. White balance, blue balance. Um, we can change modes again. We can definitely adjust up and down. The Aurora Palms actually is very nice. I'm actually quite happy with the way this works. A uh, simple little uh, ceiling projector, uh, galaxy projector if you guys want. This is, again, from Rosetta. And I want to thank you for checking this out. And I hope you guys have a great one.
here is you'll get a portable tire inflator that allows you to adjust between whatever PSI you want, or you could use bar or kilopascals, and you set what PSI you need to fill your tire to, and then you just turn it on and you're good to go after you screw it in. It comes to two different attachment types. You could also use it for tires, basketballs, whatever. So here I am doing my rear test on my tire, which requires 42 PSI. I was definitely a little low. I was in the high 20s, so though I deliberately let out some air so that I could test out this tire inflator from Oak and Iron. So this display, for some reason on the camera, blinks, but it doesn't blink when you look at it with your eyes. It's actually quite solid. But for some reason, the way the frequency of the display is, the camera lens makes it look like it blinks. So here I have an operation, and you can see just how fast it fills up. And I like that it shows you the decimal point increments of the actual air pressure of the tire while it's filling. So you don't see it like jump from like 31 to 32, but you can actually see the decimal increments. And so we're just gonna let it go here on its own. You can see it's at 31.8. And it's now at 32. It's actually feeling up pretty fast. Considering the size of this portable tire inflator, which is only a bit bigger than my hand and about two to three times as thick as my hand, it is amazingly fast at how fast it can fill a tire. I mean, look at it. I'm already at 33. And I was actually, like I said, to a, you know, 14 or 15 PSI below where the tire should be. And it's actually filling up quite quickly. So this is just an excellent option. It has a built-in flashlight tube for emergencies. You could simply use it to recharge um, a phone if you need to actually take some of its power out and use the USB-C port to help charge your phone if you run out of power. There's just a lot of versatility. It's a great device to have in emergencies, especially if you get caught on the road where your tire goes flat or you just need to put some air in your tires, especially with the changing seasons and how the temperatures can change the tire PSI. This is just a really good device to have. You can also charge it with the car too. Hey, what's up, Margaret? Car with the USB-C cable, and you can actually keep it charged at all times, too, while it's in your car with you. But here you go, I'm already at 37.3, 37.4. You can just see it just working its way up, and when it reaches 42, we'll all shut off. But we'll go ahead and time-lapse the rest of it just to let you see how fast it goes. So I actually doubled the playback speed just so you don't have to sit for another minute to watch it going. But it took a total of about four minutes to go from about 28 PSI to 42 PSI, which considering the size of the tire inflator is actually really good. The fact that it did it under four minutes. Now, as far as the volume of the tire inflator, it's about the same volume as any other tire inflator. Much larger tire inflators, the ones that get powered by your carport and inflate. And its speed is just phenomenal considering the size of this. So if you're looking for a new tire inflator, the Oak and Iron one is definitely recommended. Thank you, Dragon Blogger Justin, for telling us about the Oak and Iron Portable Tire Inflator. Uh, this is a really nice little tire inflator because I love the huge display on it. Uh, and this is available for $76.45 today. That's 24% off of its $100 <clears throat> average retail value. And if you didn't hear me a moment ago, <clears throat> excuse me, one moment. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. If you didn't hear me a moment ago, what's up, Margaret? Welcome to today's stream. I hope that you're doing exceptionally well today. Much clown love to you. Uh, man, it's Thursday, which means tomorrow is Friday. The weekend is here. What kind of plans have you got for the weekend? The weather is phenomenally nice here. So I think we're going to go get some charcoal and have like one of the first barbecues of the season um and we are we've had some barbecues in 2023 already but i think we're gonna have our first charcoal barbecue of the season i'm super stoked on that idea uh we got the scooters out we got the trikes out we're just gonna ride around and have some fun maybe i'll go hang out at my friend's house ride my scoot out there super stoked let me know what you got going on this weekend margaret if it's anything fun even if it's something boring i'd love to know now let's get moving here with our show and talk about our next product. You got a thousand likes. That's amazing. Uh, I wish I had a thousand viewers. That would be amazing as well. Okay. Now let's take a look at this next product, which is um, this entry sensor for, from Eufy. Today we're taking a look at a new product, guys. This is from Eufy. This is their Eufy security or door entry sensor or window sensor. Uh, what this is is two little pieces that can detect if a door or window has been opened and it will actually siren off. It'll trigger a siren or alert to your phone. Now, this does have a two-year battery life built in, so you will need to change it about every two years or 800 days, uh, depending on how much use it really gets. 
Now, guys, this is very compact. It will do about 100 decibel siren. Uh, the siren is actually able to shut off or on by your phone and will actually give you notifications through the app. Now, this is not a standalone product, so you will need the home base, guys. It, will, it requires the home base. Inside the package, you get the little window sensor, and this has a 3M adhesive, or you can use a screw to mount this. This will be the small piece that will connect to the window or door. Um, then you have the longer piece. This piece right here is the one you'll either 3M adhesive to the door or to your window side or window frame. That way when the window is open, they will break a uh, pattern and they will actually uh, go off. Now, this is what's cool. It'll actually show you guys this. Right here is your magnetic sensor and this is where this will actually touch. And when it slides up for a window and breaks the contact, or door and breaks the contact, it will send this off. Now you do have the battery right here and this is their EVE battery guys, two year battery. If you need them, you'll actually have to find another one if it dies. They also give you three little screws to actually connect this up and they show you where to use it. Two screws for the big one, one for the small one, uh, if you need that guys. Now the battery of course is wrapped in plastic so you will need to get that plastic off this battery. Now I'm going to attempt to get this plastic off. I will be right back one second. Now that I have the plastic off, guys, this is a nice little battery. This is their battery CR123A3 volt. If you need the model number to replace it, you will grab this big piece up here, guys, right there. It has an arrow. You will actually pop this open. It will actually show you a spring-loaded piece right here, guys, and then you will actually put it in. Then you will actually connect it. Then you'll see it flash blue, and this is where you'll pair it up with your home base. Now, you will go to the home base. You'll actually click the sync part and then click this. Now, I'm going to go hit the sync part, and I will be right back one second. Now that I hit sync, I will hit sync on this. It just beeped, and right here is your sync button, right? It is now flashing blue. Now, you will need to be within one meter. I may be a little bit farther away. So you will now pull open the app, guys. You will find entry sister sensor. You will actually connect to that one. And we here we go. So as you insert, press this. Make sure press you are wrong. Now, let's press the sync button right here. Well, it is blinking. We are now blinking, right? And then click next. Now it says ready to add device. So now we pick a place, kitchen window, kitchen, front door, or customize. We're just going to say um, front door, right? Click next. We are now installed. It shows you how to mount it to your door, for example, uh, up top, by the top, or your window mounting, just like that. Make sure it's at least 1.5 inches or no farther. Um, that's golden and finished, right? So now that we're there, it says it's in there. Now... It's magnetic, guys, so it's actually pulling and pushing just like that, and it's going to break us. So <laughs> this is cool. I was not expecting that. Guys, if you guys see that, it says the front door is closed. Now I'm going to pull these apart. It's now going to say front door is open. Now if we go into this, so this is where it's cool. It will actually show us all the opened and the closed door settings. If we go up to the settings, we can name it, notification, chirp, tones. We have none on there. So let's do a ding. We have now have a ding. Um, we can do volume max. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mic so you guys can hear. Okay, now that I changed the mic, guys, I'm going to grab this, and we're going to show you guys this. Hopefully you guys heard that in the background. So we can change that. Let's do... Do some, you guys hear that, right? Very cool. Let's do um, oh, light ding ding. Hopefully you guys can hear that. That's actually quite cool. So we have the chirps, the notifications. We have all of that cool stuff. Modding guides and all that. So guys, that is how you do the Eufy security window and door sensors if you guys need. Now the cool thing is, like I said, guys, this will detect and tell you how to do it all, share your thoughts, tells you all the notifications, when it happened, when it didn't happen, and all that good stuff with your actual time stamps. So if you guys need, 
Yuffie's got you covered with your window and door sensors, guys. Thanks for checking this out, and I hope you guys have a great one. Yo, great sensors, actually. They were super loud. They got the two-year uh, battery life, so they only need to be concerned with battery every 800 days. A really great video. Thank you, Dragon Blogger James, for telling us about the Eufy Security Window or Door Entry Sensor. Now, you can get these for your house today for $20, and that is 33% off of their $30 average retail value. So save 10 bucks today when you add this to your cart. Um... Margaret, I explored islands in Outer Banks. They're beautiful. You know, I wish that I would do more exploring. Uh, you know what I do? I do a lot of, um, you know, music festivals and concerts. That's what I spend a lot of my money on. And uh, I'm excited to be saving up some money right now, actually, to go to a big festival at the beginning of July. Talk about it as often as I can because I'm super excited about it. But, you know, you know, just spilling the beans. I'm sure I could put a little over a thousand dollars into another type of amazing trip. And have an equal amount of fun. <gasps> Excuse me. But the music festival is quite traditional now i've been doing it every year since 2014 yeah the concert scene is really fun i really enjoy it i i i love it a lot and especially the music festival season um it's hard to prioritize financially going to more than one festival every year and this year, there are a few that I would like to attend. But um, the thing about it is, my money is like, no, my money tells me no. And there is this punk rock festival that is happening in Ohio at the same venue that the annual festival that i attend is happening at this place called legend valley in thornville ohio and so on june 24th and 25th i think that's the saturday and the sunday or the friday and the saturday from the 23rd basically to the 25th of june they're doing like this punk rock festival and it's just going to be like two days of great punk rock music and probably some beer drinking but uh like they have like um, booths that are set up for like beer tasting and stuff. I don't know if they're doing that this year, but they might. And uh, yeah, so that happens on June 24th and 25th, I believe. And I wish so bad like that the venue for me to drive to the venue, it's maybe like four hours one way. So not really too bad all in all, but uh, pulling the camper there and back is a couple hundred bucks. So I wish that I was in this position that I could go to the punk rock show and show up there and do the entire punk rock show. And then like when it's over, just stay in the parking lot for like two weeks, you know, basically until the next festival starts because, because the festival that I want to go to, it starts on um, Wednesday or Thursday, July 5th, Wednesday or Thursday, July 5th. And um, it starts on July 5th. And so I plan on showing up to that event that starts on the 5th. They let me in a day early because I bought a special ticket. So I got to be there on the 4th. But I'm going to show up there like on Friday the 30th or Saturday the 1st of July. Which is really cool to go be there for a few days and just hang out kind of like camp out in the parking lot. It's all grass area and everything out there in the parking lot. And um, I did it last year. I was out there for almost an entire week uh, before the show started. I think they let the gates open on a, on a Wednesday and I was out there on a Friday. Uh, so that was really fun. But yeah, I just, I just can't afford it. Hey, thank you for the 2,500 likes Seabass. I appreciate you. Seabass, message me on Discord. If you're able, send me a message on Discord. Um, so, yeah, the festival. So, yeah, I, if I had the money, if I had the money, I would definitely just go out there and I would buy the parking lot pass and do the punk rock festival for a couple days. 
and then just stay there for like it would end on the 25th so uh so there's 30 30 days in june so five six seven eight nine ten <laughs> uh one two three four so at least at least 10 days at least 10 days in the parking lot which is which does which sounds like a lot when you say 10 days but when you say a week and a half doesn't sound that bad doesn't sound that bad sounds like i want to do it so i do want to do it but i just can't afford it so whatever i guess you know what i mean um maybe something will change but i highly doubt it and i think that the tickets have been on sale so long now that i can't even buy a ticket that allows me to bring my camper out there so i don't know it's uh it's pretty cut and dry that i'm not going to the punk rock show but i am going to the juggalo festival and that is happening july 5th I'm super stoked on that. All right. The UV security sensors are available today for $20. Now let's talk about another product in our carousel. And it's going to be another UV product. I've got videos about it that I would like to share with you. This is going to be the 2C Pro add-on. Let's watch this video together right now. A quick look at a new product, guys. This is from UV. This is their 2C Pro uh, add-on camera. What this does is you can add it onto the system you already have, which is actually pretty cool to do. Now, this is 2K resolution. I have done the uh, 1080p resolutions before. Now, a couple of cool things about this kit. This actual camera is wireless and can actually run 180 days before it needs recharged, which is just amazing. Now, it does is completely compatible with the home kits, which I have. You will need the home kit, guys, to add this on. Not a big deal. Now, it is IP67 weatherproof. Guys, stick it outside and don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt it. It does have night vision, and it does do color mode. Now, in this kit, you get the mounting uh, tripod little mounting kit. This is actually what you'll connect to your wall, uh, a tree, wherever you put it. Now, you'll unscrew this. You will pull out this, and this is what you'll actually screw into whatever you're screwing it into. Then you'll replace this in. Just like this, guys, right? Back to where it was. Then you screw it back together just like that. You will screw it on. And this is what you'll screw onto the camera right back here to actually hang it off wherever you want to hang it. It is pivotal. So you can pivot it in any direction you want. Now, a couple of cool things is, is underneath this QR code. But underneath that QR code is actually where the USB-C cable will go to charge this. Now, guys, it... Charges rather fast, a couple hours, maybe, if that, to charge is fully charged. does come with a nice long USB to USB-C cable to do that. It also comes with four screws and the plugs to plug it in. Now, when you're mounting this, try to mount it up high, at least 10 to 12 feet off the ground. That way people can't get it. If not, remember, it's going to record and send the clips to you no matter what. Once you have that up, guys, you will actually grab the app, and the app is where you're going to go in. And then you're going to go up to this where it says My Devices. You're going to click My Devices. You're going to scroll down to where it says 2C Pro. You're going to click that. It's going to say Your Home Base, which I have mine. Click that. Click Next. It'll say Keep cam clam Camera uh, Near the Home Base Within One Meter. Plus the Sync Button. Sync button is right on top. Once it syncs, it will pair up to your home base, and then you are good to go. Now, this is where it gets cool. Inside here, guys, you can adjust um, alerts. You can adjust uh, the quality of the picture. You can adjust color mode for at night or infrared mode at night or even adjust LEDs. And now, you can listen into it, and you can also, uh, you know, I'm going to set this just like this, and I'm going to point it back towards the TV. Now you guys will see this kind of, it's already on now, right? So there's your quality of the picture. Now this is where it gets cool. You have night light, you have a uh, recording. Now I'm now recording. You guys see it's recording a little clip. Now if you hit the light, the light setup will actually make it look like day at night. And that is a super bright LEDs on this camera. Now 
we're going to shut that lighting off. And then if you want, you can clip a picture of who was ever in front of it and it saves it. Now you can actually talk to it by hitting the speaker and talking to it. Now a couple of cool things is you can actually enlarge the picture and look at that quality of the picture, guys. It's just phenomenal. Now let's talk about the battery life on the 2C Pro. Now, you, of course, you get 180 days, but 180 days means if you are not permanently sitting there watching it or you're just recording 20-second clips. If you record longer clips or longer record times, it's going to drain the battery more quickly. If you use the LEDs a lot more, it's going to use it a lot more quickly. Not a big deal. But a whole bunch of other cool stuff is when you go into settings, you can actually adjust motion detection. Um, you can do spotlight settings, power management. Power management is where you'll adjust all the recordings of your recording styles. Of course, I put it on optimal, which is not a big deal for me. Now, it does say 75% battery right now. Not a big deal. Then you have video recording, and this is where you'll actually do the streaming quality and you'll do the other quality. Now, I have it on auto, but you could set it on high or you can put it on low quality if you want. You can go in here into the 2K or drop it down to 1080p to match the other devices. Then you have the night vision. You can do spotlight night vision, or you can do uh, infrared, which is on and off, or black and white. Then you have your privacy. Then you have your auto set uh, audio settings right there. You can actually turn it on and off. If you want, you can do microphone, audio recording, speaker recordings. Then you can set up uh, notifications, where if you want notifications sent to you, you will get notifications. You can get a thumbnail instantly sent to you. Hey, what's somebody up, Donald? Sorry, it took camera. me a minute to say Guys, hello. This I kit is a very, very phenomenal kit. And Welcome to you the get stream. 180 days How you doing? off a what's single charge you? Uh, for your peace of mind. I'm telling you, Eufy did their job with the Eufy 2C Pro uh, kit right here, guys. Thanks for checking this video out, and I hope you guys have a great one. Thank you, James, for talking to us about the Eufy Security 2C Pro. Uh, it is available today for $95, and this is 37% off of its $150 average retail value. So a lot of great deals today. A lot of great deals today on the uh, stream. Um, sorry, I just got a little bit. Give me a quick second here. All right, we are going to take a look at these frameless candles next. So let me highlight this in the carousel. Sorry about that kind of little surge there. I just had to refresh my product page. Let's take a look at this video and learn a little bit more about what's going on here. Three-piece flameless glass set of candles. Now, this is, comes in three different sizes, as you can see here. On the bottom, you have an on and off switch and a battery tray. The battery tray does take two AA batteries. Now, you will need to grab those yourself. Now, as you guys see, it's a nice glass case with a flame uh, flame look alike. Now, it does come with a remote control. The remote control does do on and off, four-hour or eight-hour timer, and it does steepless uh, colorations or dimness. Uh, you can up and up the coloration or down it as you want to the brightness level that you would like. Now, I'm going to turn off the lights here and give you guys a look at what they look like in the dark. And as you guys can see, they actually are very, very bright and vibrant. Now, the coloration of the glass is just beautifully well done. And when they turn it off with your uh, remote control or back uh, you can adjust it, set it out to your own liking, uh, pick it up, put it around. Now, you guys can see how much glow is coming off of these, but this is a very beautiful kit. If you guys need a three-piece kit, maybe this is the one for you. Maybe this is the one for you. It's pretty cool. You don't burn your hands on flameless candles. Now, this candle kit it is available today for $21.58, and this is, guess what? That's right, another deal. Another deal that is 35% off of its $33 average retail value. Get your glass flameless candle three set today for just under 22 bucks. Now, let's talk about the next thing that we've got going on in our carousel, and this is going to be the 50-pint dehumidifier.
Here we go. Absolutely amazing dehumidifier, and I'm going to basically show you guys how it works and how fantastic it is. So first off, we'll go up to the top here where we can see the panel and everything. So obviously this one gives the power, so if I press that, it's going to turn it off. I press it, it'll turn it back on. Uh, right now, I have it set to basement, uh, which it has these preset modes. Continuous would just continuously dehumidify, which you can hear it just came back on. But sleeping area has a set to 55 humidity. Living area is 50. Basement is 45. So when you set it to these and the humidity gets set level, it'll turn off. But if you leave it on continuous, it'll just constantly dehumidify regardless of what's going on. Now, you also have a timer that you can set. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan speed down just so it's not as loud. But you have a timer that you can set. And if you hit it, you can cycle between the lowest setting, which is half an hour, or the highest setting, which is 24 hours. And so that's something that I think is really cool because you have the options to scale the time as you see fit. And as I showed you earlier, you have uh, the different fan speeds that you can set. You have a filter button too. And what I like is that you have a Mirage button, which if you look at the front of it, you can see there's nothing there. But if I hit the Mirage button, boom, it shows you what the humidity level is currently at in the room. And as you can see here, it reflects up here. It's 44. You know, it was 45. So you can already tell that it's working out. You know, I'm not in like the biggest room. It's about a, a 16 by 16 room. And this thing does an amazing job at constantly dehumidifying the room and getting it to, you know, where I wanted. When I first started, the, the, the humidity in the room was about 57. And now it's already down to 44. So this thing works absolutely fantastically. And it blows out really cool air too, which I really like. Now there is a warning that they include that when you get it, make sure you set it up right for 12 hours before using it because it does have a refrigeration unit in it and you can kind of hear it just kick in. Um, so make sure you do that. But other than that, it's super easy to use, super set, super easy to set up. And there's not a lot of hard work to it. So if you're looking for a really high quality, awesome dehumidifier, this is definitely going to be the one to check out. Absolutely. Thank you, Nikita, for that great quick review of the Air G Job 70 point. 70 pint, excuse me, dehumidifier. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the 70 pint Energy Star dehumidifier. It's available today for $255. And this is 15% off of its $300 average retail value. So definitely, if you're looking to suck some moisture out of the air, uh, air rig job has got you covered job. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about the next product in our carousel, though, here, and it's going to be the Apex Forge M8 cordless rotary tool. Let's just watch these videos together, and then after we get through our carousel of videos, if there's time, we'll talk about some other products that have been on my mind lately. We're here to show you the Apex Forge M8 cordless rotary tool. Now, what I love about this rotary tool is that it comes in this really awesome and really colorful little carrying case that has all of the tools, over 101 pieces and accessories with this amazing five-speed shield-attached cordless rotary tool. Now, here's the actual rotary tool itself. As you can see, I love the white uh, and red and blue design. It's very American patriotic, but it's also just very form fitting and it feels really nice in the hand. It's got a good weight to it and everything that you need is basically in this kit. Here are the different tools that it comes with. These are going to be your different uh, sanding grades to put around it and it's just really easy to install all these pieces. This is the guard that it comes with and like I said, it, it comes with all sorts of different tools that you can use they are universal it's easy to quick change you can adjust everything you know from the different discs that you use to the different sanding bands to the different cutting wheels and you can just use your rotary tool for all sorts of purposes and i just love the fact that it comes in this really nice carrying case everything has a nice little place for it and it's just very easy to keep stored whether you have it in your desk or in your you know, equipment room, wherever you may have it. Apex Forge has definitely got you covered with this awesome MA cordless rotary tool. So definitely add this one to your list of tools to get for your garage. The M8 cordless rotary tool by Apex Forge is available today for $46, and that's 22% off of its $59 average retail value. So again, this is cool. It comes with everything basically that you need to get your rotary kit kicked off uh, 
you know, they make other kits that you can get that have more parts and stuff like accessories. But I love the blue and red design of the case for holding the tool. Uh, very aesthetically pleasing to me. All right, now let's talk about the Andoble phone mount. Um, I want to get a video about this product as well open for us to enjoy some B-roll on. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's watch this video together here. Very easy day watching B-rolls together. Let's watch this video together now. Is absolutely fantastic. It has multiple points of articulation and it is very easy to set up. It keeps your phone secure and in place and locked into place at that while you're on the go, maybe using your phone to DJ music on a car trip or using it for GPS. Now, you'll notice in the back that it has this little attachment where you see a little screw part on there's going to be a ball joint that fits into that and you're going to make sure that you put that ball joint through the screw part and then put the ball joint into the hole where it is and screw it in now this is for the mounting of the actual car clip itself you want to make sure that you give it the proper time for the adhesive to bind to the surface as well as making sure that it is clipped for a while to set with the clamp that's on it. But here you can see the multiple points of articulation that it has and then the actual clamp right here, which is going to lock it into place on your dashboard or your window, wherever you decide to put it. For this demonstration, I'm going to be putting it on my actual dashboard on the passenger side so you can just see how it functions. But this was what I was mentioning earlier, that ball joint that you screw in, and this is what secures your mount to the actual stand. Now, once you get this secured, it's super easy as I mentioned before, all you have to do is put your phone in, tighten it, get it to the exact point where you want it to, whether you want it closer to you, bent at a different angle or not. And this thing is very easy to get set up how you want it to. I mean, you can basically place it anywhere and you're able to get it to your viewing needs, essentially. So let's go ahead and see it in action. This is the one of the plates that it comes with. Now, you can put this thing onto your glass or onto your dashboard if you want to, but you don't necessarily need this pad. And I ended up not using the pad itself because the adhesive on here, as well as the nice little lock that it has, will basically stick it to any surface on its own. There's no need to have the additional smooth surface, but if you do need it, it is there for you. For demonstration purposes, I have it here just to kind of show you everything together, but I do not use it with the actual pad itself. So if you're looking for a really awesome foam mount to have in your car, this is definitely the one to check out. It's easy and fun. Yes, that actually looked really like uh, thick and and durable. The Andobil Easy Clip Car Dashboard Cell Phone Mount. I like that it had the uh, the lock on the bottom uh, on the top too, so that you could extend it out if you wanted to. Very very nice, thorough looking car clip. Now you know what I want. I want one for my bike. I need one for the bicycle. Maxim Maximilian Mulligan says, been listening to a lot of CKY today, Dragon Dude. Uh, I like a lot of CKY, but I'm a fair weather fan of CKY and truly only know a few songs by lyrics. And um, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, now, I was talking earlier about the music festival, the Juggalo thing that I do. And that uh, that festival featured CKY in 2000. 18 or 2019 it was and that was a really good time i went down there and uh saw some people maybe it was 2021 was it the 2021 gathering that had cky was it the 2021 gathering that had cky let me know maximilian mulligan if you know if you recall was it 2021 dang that's crazy it probably was but uh, I was an old CKY video enjoyer, and uh, I like all the stuff with Deco. So I know that like not all that, not all that 2018 sounds right. That's crazy. Um, or or maybe it was 2020. I feel like it was 2021 based on the people that I remember going down to the stage with. I think it was 2021, 
But what was I saying? Oh, CKY. I like Deco, and I don't know, like Deco's not like an official member of CKY, but I know they all like played some music together. And the Deco stuff was really, really funny. Like the Skeletor song and, and all the other stuff that he makes. Uh, Deco, I really, really liked Brandon DiCamillo. He was really smart and really funny. He had a talent and a penchant to be creative while everybody else around them were just acting like insane, you know? I miss Deco. I wish he was making regular content that regular people like me could watch. All right, now let's talk about the next product in our carousel here. This is going to be the Ammaline Flying Hover Orb Ball toy. I have no idea. Let's check this one out together. Hey, everyone. Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you the Ammaline 2-pack Flying Orb Ball toy. This thing is really cool because it's a nice little hover toy. Now, if you look right here, those little yellow buttons are how you stop it once you get it to start. And these are the charging cables that you're going to have to use for them because they do require a charge. Now, if you look right here, you can see inside it has a nice hover rotation device. And at the top right here is where you're going to charge it and turn it on. Now, of course, as I mentioned, the yellow devices are going to be how you turn it off because once it's start spinning you have no way to press the button again and this is just me showing you like how you go about charging you got to make sure it's lined up and it is advised to put a finger through the little top hole so you can kind of hold it in place to make sure that it goes in uh, but once you get it plugged in it does not take that long to charge at all i believe to fully charge this one it takes about 20 minutes or so and then of course if you turn that button on that's how you get it to turn on. It just it will go immediately. So make sure you have a firm grip on it because once you hit that button, it is liable to fly right out of your hands. And like I said earlier, if you want to stop it, you just simply use the little button, and that's how you go ahead and stop it. You can also start it with the button too if you don't want to worry about trying to get your fingers through the little top hole at the part. Now, in this part of the video that we're about to show you, my girlfriend is struggling <laughs> to learn how to use it, so she's just kind of going going about it as best as she can because she doesn't have much experience with these and so uh, please forgive her for trying to uh to do this unsuccessfully but as she throws it and it just kind of goes flying and then obi has to come to the rescue to see what's going on but as you can see i mean it hits it's still spinning it's very durable it's made out of light plastic and it can fly around really easily this is the type of thing that you can have your kids use inside and you don't have to worry about it really breaking anything um, unless it's something that's also light or going to be easily knocked down obi's kind of confused as to what's going on <laughs> He's looking around like, what is this toy? But of course, you know, the expert being me um, has to show up here so I can show my girlfriend just how this is done. Of course, I myself am not the best, but I can at the very least get it to boomerang and kind of catch it and show her kind of how to use it. But it's a lot of fun. This is great for people of all ages. So if you're looking for a really awesome toy to keep your kid occupied, these flying hover orbs, they're really fun <laughs> and they keep you entertained for hours. But I <laughs> am also not an expert. <laughs> I never seen that Nikita video. What a cool guy. Nikita's so cool. All right. Thank you, though, Nikita, for talking to us about your balls. These two pack flying orb balls are available today for $30. And these little toys are 25% off of their $40 average retail value. Yeah, Mac, Max, if you're still looking, if, um, if you're still in the chat, I was taking a glance at the posters that i have on the wall and it was kind of difficult to ascertain when cky was at the gathering but i do remember going down there i went down there with some people that i had met on the internet but had never like uh, met in real life yet so that was what we did to bond it was a good time okay let's keep it moving here on today's show uh what is to what is the time it's already 6 30 and we've only got one two three, four, five products left. Well, I doubt they're five minute videos. So we're going to have a little bit of time to fill. Let's watch this next video though. This is going to be about the Donner Black acoustic guitar uh, available today for $120. Dragon Blogger here to show you the absolutely fantastic Donner 
black acoustic guitar this is a amazing guitar for any beginner and it comes with a lot of cool accessories the first of which being this really awesome carrying case for it which i was shocked to find out has straps that you can wear it like a backpack which just makes portability so easy not only that but it comes with a lot of cool accessories too that are all packed in one bag my favorite of which being this really awesome tuner so you never had a tune it comes with an allen wrench for adjustments a strap for the guitar as well as a new set of strings a capo for it and a nice little cleaning cloth and a little decal that you can put on the actual guitar itself. Now here we're going to be showing you exactly how the tuner works. And so this is us going through tuning. And what's really cool about the tuner is that when you get to the note that's desired, you will see the actual tuner turn green so you know that you are hit and perfectly in tone. And once you get your guitar in tune, well, enjoy. This is honestly an amazing guitar for beginners especially, but even if you're not a beginner, this is still just a really amazing and comfortable acoustic guitar to play. I mean, like, the shape of the neck is very comfortable. It's well polished. The frets don't scratch your fingers. Everything is super easy. It's super nice. The matte black finish is beautiful. And so, you know, you can't go wrong choosing Donner for a beginner guitar, whether you are new to playing guitar or an expert. Yo, I never got good at the guitar. I tried when I was young and I was just, I was never, never good. I had like a semi acoustic guitar, so you could like hear it if you played it without an amp because it was like semi acoustic. But then it also had like electronic stuff built into it, so you could plug it into an amp. I was, I always wanted the Fender Strat and I never got it. And I liked the Strat because the, because the strings were super close to the fret. And, uh, and on the semi-acoustic I had, they were so high, and I, I just I never liked it, and I kind of fell off of it. Uh, okay, but um, maybe you won't have that experience when you check out this Donner Black Acoustic guitar. Uh, if you're looking for a new beginner guitar, Nikita put it best, uh, this is an excellent option. And it's available today at 40% off. So traditionally, the Donner Black Acoustic Guitar is $200. It's available today for $120. All right, now let's take a look at the Chef Story Airtight Food Containers. Um, I want to do that. And so we will. It's part of the show. All right, let's take a look at these food containers together. airtight food storage container set this is a 14 piece kitchen storage container set that is perfect for flour sugar cereals whatever food you may want to store inside of here and it keeps your pantry and cabinet organization absolutely fantastic now as you can see here that there are four sizes for all of your storage needs two tall containers four large containers four medium containers and four small containers all of which you can use for anything as i mentioned earlier spaghetti cereal flour sugar pasta, nuts, rice, grain, beans, snacks, and other dry foods. These things are absolutely fantastic because they provide a airtight seal with the four side locking lids and black silicon gasket, creating an airtight seal to protect whatever you may be putting in here for storage. Now, what's also cool is that they're super easy to clean for the most part you're putting dry foods in here anyways but they are super easy to clean they have a really awesome stackable design that are specifically designed to save space and will fit easily into your pantry or cupboard which allow you to make full use of every inch of your home now these things make storage easier because the plastic canisters are versatile enough to work well on your kitchen countertop inside of cabinets inside of pantries you can put them under your cabinets and they also come with these really nice storing stickers too that you can simply write on with the white marker that is included so that you can label them. Now, I know what you're maybe thinking, like it's a clear storage container, so obviously you're going to know what's inside, but it is always nice to be able to write certain things and stuff onto the packaging. Maybe they're for a specific person or for a specific use. And as you can see here, I've got some hot cocoa powder, some nuts, some spaghetti, and some pasta. 
that I have already organized in here. And so I'm going to basically take one of the stickers and just kind of write on them so you guys can see how easy it is to write on them and how you can put them on any of your storage containers for the best use of the labeling. Like I said, you can do it for the type of pasta, for who it is. And this is some Celentini pasta. So I'm just going to take this off, go ahead and put it on there just so I know what type of pasta it is. And, you know, you could also put the date on here if certain things in there expire, but otherwise they're just really easy to slap on. And I really like that they are for the most part reusable too. You can simply take a cloth or a wet damp paper towel if you want and just simply wipe it off. Now, what I will mention is that you got to be careful if you use these in the washing machine or not the washing machine, the dishwasher, because, uh, you know, they, they will get damaged and it will mess up the adhesive. But for the most part, if you want to just simply <laughs> wipe it off and then put whatever you want onto the label, then you can. So if you're looking for a really awesome set of storage containers with these really nice stickers that you can use for labeling or just have a bunch of different varieties of sizes and a lot of pieces to store your different uh, materials and cooking stuffs. This is definitely the 14 piece airtight food storage container set for you. Boom, boom. Thank you, Nikita. That's dope, actually. I like the stickers. They look like plastic based stickers that are easy to peel off and put on. I like that it's black with the white marker. I like that contrast instead of something that's like a white background and then, and then any other color like a, a like a blue ballpoint pen. How boring is that? Super boring. That's right. Now, this is a 14 piece kit that is regularly $36. Today, you can get this storage set, uh, this food storage container set for $23.79. So just under $24 today for that bad boy. Now we got a couple products left in our carousel. I want to talk about them with you. Uh, and by talk about them with you, I mean, I want to show you a B-roll video about it. You know what I'm saying? So the next thing that we're going to get into is going to be this UV security smart lock. Got Let's my watch new this. Eufy security door lock. Um, I'm, it's in the box right now. I'm basically just taking it out, kind of showing you everything, and then I'm going to uh, set it up so you can see what it looks like. But it has these really convenient steps that are listed on the actual packaging. Be careful; these are kind of heavy. Um, but on here, as you can see, it says step three and five, and it shows the two main locking mechanisms. Um, so I'm going to sit this over here. And then if you look in the box, the other stuff has step one, two, four, five, and six. So I'm going to follow the instructions, get all of this stuff installed, and then show you guys all the features of my cool new security system. So I've got my Eufy uh, security system installed now. I am absolutely in love with it and how the, uh, the deadbolt works. So what's really cool about it, first off, is that um, you connect it to the app. And you can do so much from the app. So I'm going to show you that first. I'm going to close the door. And then on the phone, I'm going to show you, you pull down to lock. And then once you do it, it turns. And you can also do it to unlock it also. They're going to do it from the app. And it turns automatically. So it's already um, able to you know, unlock and, and stuff like that. Now, what's really cool is I'm going to step outside here. And um, even though it has those smart lock features, it also features where you can use a physical key and it comes with five copies of the key. So that's cool. So if I wanted to, I can just lock it this way. Um, and then I can lock it also by using, um, you know, my fingerprint if I wanted to, which I think is cool. All you have to do is hit the unlock button and then put your finger and it'll flash white and then it's good. And then of course you can, Oh, I locked it by mistake. Oops. Um, and then of course you can use the, um, Oh, see, um, it actually set the door fail to unlock um, and it gives me a notification too. So sometimes you have to pull it and make sure you readjust so that you can try to open it. Pull it to lock it again. There we go. Um, and of course, you can use the keypad also. But, um, you know, I'm not going to show the code. Um, and another really cool feature about the app is that every time you unlock it and do something, it shows you a log of every time. Um, and you see where it says 
back door jammed when I accidentally thought I opened it and pushed it forward a little bit and then it wouldn't do it. That's really cool because it lets you know, um, you know, that there's an issue, but it shows you every single time the door is unlocked or locked. And I just think that that um, is so cool. Like I said, this really does add a really high tech security feature. Um, you know, it has these fail safes too, um, where if for some reason you couldn't use the app, you couldn't use the fingerprint scanner, you couldn't use the touchpad, you can always use the actual key. And then um, the battery in itself will last for an hour or for not for an hour, for a year or so. And it also features in case the power goes out, you have a plug here at the bottom that you can use to feed power to it if necessary. But overall, I am more than satisfied with my new Eufy security system, and I can't wait to continue to use it in the future. Eufy truly makes so many crazy products, man. Uh, they cover all gamuts, whether you want like a, like a 1080p doorbell or something that has more like a keyless door lock. Eufy makes a lot of great products that help you feel secure and uh, are super unique, I think, in the, in the, uh, in the security spectrum, if, if I may say so myself. Now, the Eufy Security S230 Smart Lock, it's available today on a deal. It's traditionally $230. Today, 17% off for just under $191, $190.45. Now, we are so close to getting our product carousel completed today. Let's just talk about these next products. These are going to be some cyber uh, uh, S uh, CVCB, CV, CVC, I don't know how to say this one. Let's take a look at these lightsabers, though. Hey everyone, the Kato with Dragon Blogger here to show you something really cool. This is the CV Seepser lightsaber. It is absolutely fantastic. It has a really awesome polycarbonate braid. And I also love the fact that it comes with these nice little urban grips that you can install to the saber that you want to, which gives it a really nice grip. Now, first off, you'll see when you turn it on that the red light comes on and then you just press it to activate. Now, what's really cool is that this thing has a lot of settings in it too. So you can also just simply hold it to get it to do a blade lock effect after holding it for one second. And then if you also want to change the color of it, you can hold it twice and it will simply cycle through, which I'll let you guys see right here. The CVC Saber is just absolutely fantastic. Now, if you don't like having to wait so long for it to cycle through the colors, if you hold it for the third activation, you see it flashes three times here, it will do a step color rather than a gradient color change so that it's, you know, it's easier for you to, to pick a solid color rather than going through to get the exact shade that you want. But I like the fact that you have both options now. Another cool thing is that once you get the blade off, it has another set of effects. So when you hold the button and it flashes once, that's what allows you to change the volume of the actual saber itself. When you hold it twice, that's what changes the form of the lightsaber, whether you want it to be stable, unstable, or on pulse. If you hold it three times, then what that will do is allow you to turn the motion sense on or off. And then finally, when you hold it all the way until it goes to the end, it will basically change the sound font which i think is absolutely fantastic this device not only has 16 colors but 12 different sound fonts that make different sounds when you do the smooth swing or you clash on hit and i just think that it is one of the most amazing lightsabers in its class it does everything you want it to and more. It changes all sorts of colors. It has really cool accessories. It's charged via USB-C. And it's just great for whether you want to do cosplay or just have fight with your friends. It's very sturdy, very durable. The polycarbonate blade is among one of the best that I've gotten to review out of all the lightsabers I've done. And I've done quite a few, let me tell you. And this lightsaber just takes the cake. It's the small things, too, that just make it really amazing. Like, one thing that I really love about it is the nice audible that you get when you press the button a lot of them that you get a lot of lightsabers will have like just a soft depress this one has like a nice little click and it feels really good in the hand and so if you're looking for a really awesome 
beginner saber to pick up. This is definitely one that I recommend. It looks amazing. It looks great. The grip is really awesome. The interface is really cool. And you could not go wrong choosing CVC saber for your next lightsaber. CVC Saver coming in clutch. Thank you, Nikita, for telling me how to say the brand name. You can get this bad boy today for 80 bucks, all right? And this is 56% off of its traditional $180 average retail value. Now, I've got to say, I'm not the type of person who would buy a lightsaber, but that one looked really cool. It looked like it was built really well. And uh, to be 56% off, it certainly seems like a fantastic deal. So if you're into saber, if you're into lightsabers and you're looking to add one to your collection, Nikita, who loves them, says that this is a most excellent option. Uh, and for $80, wow. Uh, uh, yeah, $80 for the lightsaber. So now let's talk about the last product in our carousel today. And this is going to be uh, the Gethos, I think, uh, wireless headphones. So let's get this product page open. And then we still got a little bit of time to talk. We got like 15, 20 minutes that we're going to hang out. And uh, before we do the hangout sesh, let's get this last product in our carousel today under our belt. Githios gaming headset, Captain 300. I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure on how you pronounce that, but here it is when it's all turned on. It, uh, the box down. As you can see, it has very cool lighting. Let me show you all of the features. If you can see the buttons up close, little mute on and off button, just the lights here. If you want them on or off, volume up and down and then Bluetooth sync on and off. And let me just, we'll just do the microphone test really quick and then I can pull the plug out of the back that is syncing to my computer. So, okay, so this is the microphone test. I've muted the, the audio on this camera. So now you can hear it's recording on my computer. So that's how it sounds. It does have the microphone that goes in if you want really loud, intense sounds. And it bends out a little bit. It doesn't really bend up and down, but it does at least go in and out. So you have that option. Okay, let me switch back to regular audio. Okay, so now that I got that out of the back, it does connect in three different ways. It does USB, which is that you plug it into the back of your computer. It connects automatically. It connects through Bluetooth which I believe it has Bluetooth 5.0 and then um, wired mode, which is just regular wired. It does not come with the, um, the wired adapter. So like if you need it to split into the microphone and headphone option, it does not have that, but depends on what kind of device you have. It is, I believe compatible with everything that has Bluetooth and or a USB option, so a ton of different gaming, computer, PC, Mac. I just, I did the microphone test on a Mac, so, but I do have a PC that I've worked on as well, so, so I mean, that is pretty much it. As you can see, very cold lights, very comfortable to wear, very adjustable on the sides, up and down. I do not have the biggest head, so it's got some plenty of room. How does the foam, microphone everywhere. go up? Sorry, that just completely <laughs> can mute the rest of this. How does the microphone go up? Look, the microphone just protrudes. It, okay, she's gonna unplug it. That's fine. Yeah, you unplug it. Okay, cool. Simple plug in. Look, it does it won't turn up then. It won't turn up. It will always be out. It will always stick out. So how do we mute the microphone? If there's if it's wireless, if the microphone is wireless, if the headset, excuse me, is wireless. And the microphone unplugs. Where? What button do we press? Is it that? Is it the blue light? The blue. Oh, oh, I see. Ah, there's a bunch of buttons on the back end. Well, I like that they hide the buttons on the back end for the control. That's pretty cool. Um, I would. I guess it doesn't need to go up since it can be unplugged. 
All right, that's cool. All right, well, thank you for showing us the wireless gaming headset. I really appreciate that. This headset is 30, 20% off of its $50 average retail value, making it $40 today. Feel free to click through the carousel to learn more, all right? Now, let's take a look at our carousel and see where we got some clicks. We got 13 unique clicks through our carousel today. But not all of our products tell us which ones got clicks and which ones didn't. Fantic did not. Amazon Basics USB 3.0 cable did. Now, the Amazon Basics USB cable, I've still got it right here. It is a really good cable. What I like the most about it is how it feels uh, thick and, and durable. It does have that uh, a camera. It does have that Amazon Basics kind of little labeling on it. But, hey... You know, the thing about the cables are, it's not the wire that makes the cable. It's what's inside the uh, what's inside the adapter, right? Uh, $9.40 for the Amazon Basics cable today. Let's see. What else can we see that got click-throughs today? If you're in the chat and you click through on something, let me know. We'll talk about it a little bit more. Well, we got two clicks on the Apex Forge M8 cordless uh, um uh, rotary tool set. Now I love a rotary tool set. They're great for crafts. They're great for, um, hobbyists, right? They're great for pretty much anything that you want to use them for. And I like that the M8, uh, comes with that really beautiful blue bag. So many things just come like black or gray. So I really like when colors pop and I love aesthetically also how it, uh, how they put the red zipper on it as well. So if you are one of the two people that clicked through and looked at the Apex Forge M8 today, uh, let me know if you buy that because it looks like it's a pretty quality thing. 22% off of its $60 average retail value, making it $45.97. So $46 today for the M8. Now, what else can we see? Got some click throughs. Not everything shows click through rates. Those are the only things that showed click through rates on the show today. That's all right. What is my favorite thing? Let's see. PowerConf, pretty great. Ufi Smart Drop, pretty great. Uh, Ufi by Anchor HomeVac H30, very excellent. Yeah. The Fantic Nex L1 Pro is an awesome cordless screwdriver. Now I see that we had zero clicks here today on this. You got to consider before today's show ends, uh, clicking through the carousel and really just kind of taking a closer look at the at the next L1 Pro, and I've got it on the table right right back here, and uh, I love how it has the the six different torque settings, um, and that it is in like a uh, like a drill shape design, like a L shape design, right? Uh, like a hand tool because I feel like you would get less hand fatigue holding it and using it. The Amazon Basics cable, the Eufy Pet Water Fountain. Now the Anchor Nebula Capsule Three for six hundred and seventy nine ninety nine. The six hundred and eighty dollar thing looks pretty pretty slick. Like I said earlier, I've got a Mars Two Pro, which is an Anchor um, uh, Nebula projector as well. And even at seven twenty p, that DLP projector just looks really phenomenal when you blast it on the wall. So to have the capsule three be a 1080p projector, I'm sure that this is just fantastic option as well, especially at its price point and that it has the batteries in it and the speakers as well. We looked at the Anchor Nebula Apollo. I didn't catch what the resolution on that was. We had the Rosetta. We had the Rosetta Star Projector. That was nice today. We looked at the Oaken Iron uh, battery-operated tire inflator. This one seemed pretty cool. It had that big, big display on it. Uh, we had James tell us about the Eufy security entry sensors. Talked about Eufy cameras. Man, we talked about a lot of interesting stuff today. The 70-pint the seventy pint dehumidifier. Okay. Um, Apex Forge, we talked about that. I really loved the way that the Andabil phone mount looked in the video that we watched. That was very fantastic. The flying orbs are pretty cool. The Chef Story airtight food storage containers for less than $25. Seems like a pretty phenomenal deal. It's a 14-piece kit. 
That is 34% off today of its $36 average retail value. The, the lightsaber also. And the headphones that Max like six minutes ago. Uh, pretty good carousel today. What well, Not too bad. Now we got about 10 minutes left on the show. And I'm just chilling. Uh, what is going on with you? Let me put my chat back up here and see what is going on. I've been uh, off of Amazon, outside of Amazon. I've been entering a bunch of giveaways. My luck has not been as good as I'd like it to be. I've been winning some stuff, of course, but um, I've been winning prizes that are like uh, hoodies and T-shirts and and like a, a one like a light to camp with. <clears throat> but I've been entering a lot of giveaways for like power stations and man, I have not been so lucky. Uh, I really would love to be able to win a big power station. My goal with power stations now that I've been on Amazon and learning about how truly accessible these batteries are and how, and how stable the life po four battery is. Um, I'm interested in trying to get, a battery at this current time. Yeah, of course I've been looking at some brand names, but to be very generalized about it, I would like to own any portable battery that would function to what I think is my requirement. And like I've said before, my requirement is that I would like to run my camper and the camper doesn't seem like it sucks up a lot of power, but the camper does have like a 30 amp plug that comes off of it. And so I would like to um, use that plug to, to power everything in the camper. And so I would like to get a battery, a, a large portable battery that has a 30 amp plug on it. And there are some options. There are definitely some options. Uh, and I look at them all and I'm trying to and I'm trying to win one. I'm trying to win one. That's what I'm saying right now. I'm trying to win a battery because while a lot of them are quite budget friendly, some of them are a little more expensive and sometimes they are given away. So that's where I'm at, dude. That's where I'm at. I'm trying to win a portable power station, something that I can feel confident plugging the camper into. And like I was saying, what is it in the camper? Well, I've got like regular lights. I've got regular lights. Um, I've got some LED lights. I have these exact lights in the camper, these exact LED lights. Um, so I've got that. I've, I'd like to, I'd like to be able to power my lights, but the big energy hogs in the camper, the three big energy hogs in the camper are going to be the air conditioner first, of course, the air conditioner first is going to be the biggest, biggest energy consumer. And it, uh, I have a, I have a, a two stroke 900 watt gas powered generator and it just, it won't run my, it won't run my air conditioner. It won't run the air conditioner by itself. It will trip the breaker, but I can plug the camper in. Um, I can plug the camper into the 900 watt generator and like take care of all the lights and everything. That's cool. Lights are easy. Lights are easy with the generator. What I really want to power is my air conditioner. And also, uh, I have like a traditional size, like bar fridge. One second. I have like a traditional sized bar fridge in the camper. I'd like to be able to run that like 24 seven without having to turn it off. And also I have like a simple pump that is a water pump for bringing water to the sink and to the toilet. My camper is quite old and I've owned it since 2014. And since 2014, I've never, I've never utilized the range. I never hooked up gas to it. 
So my my travel trailer, my 28 foot travel trailer, that's like 40 years old. I never hooked up a propane gas line to it. I never used the stove in there. I never used the heater that was in the camper either. I've never done cold camping with the camper. So I actually had my gas lines removed because they were starting to like corrode. And uh, so that's good. And then um, in 2019, here's a quick story. In 2019, uh, we did all of our fun camping stuff that year. And then we put the camper into like the winter state. And part of that is running antifreeze through my uh, hot water heater because my plumbing is strange in the camper. So I did that. And then at the beginning of 2020, that, that COVID-19 pandemic became very like relevant. And so like so many things got shut down and we weren't able to take the camper like to some of our traditional places. So the camper sat all summer in 2020, we didn't do nothing. And uh, we, and, and like, you know, we actually did get the ability to do one traditional thing. And uh, that was in August. So I put the camper, I winterized the camper in like November, October, November, 2019. I didn't open it until August, 2020. And that was awful. My hot water tank ended up uh, uh, rusting out inside. And so uh, that was unfortunate. And I had my hot water tank bypassed um, when I had some work done on it. Because my plumbing was also clogged up and, and my sink in my bathtub, uh, the bathtub, excuse me, in the bathroom, I mean to say, was backing up with water that was being put into the drain by the sink. So that was a nightmare. And when we opened it up in 2020, it was just like all this brown water was like chunking out of the sink. I'm like, just run it. <laughs> we'll just run it, you know, until it's clean. And it never got clean. And I never used the heat. So I never used the hot water. And so I just had my hot water tank bypassed. And it's been that way now since like 2021. And I'm okay with it. Like I said, very repetitively. I, I've never used anything that has to do with heat in there. So when it comes to like batteries, I just want to run my bar fridge and my air conditioner and I feel like everything else is fine. What is everything else? Charging a cell phone, running some lights, like all that stuff is super, super easy. And then also I recognize that like if I had the the bigger, like a bigger battery that would facilitate this, well, then I would just start getting like electric range. You know what I mean? And probably not like the one with the coil, but I would get like a nice glass top range. Man, if I had that, it would make me feel like, imagine if I pulled out my old range, my old stove. <clears throat> imagine I pulled out my old stove uh, that I've never used and, and refinished the top and put a glass range in there and all the oven. I would never use an oven in the camper. Why would I do that? I could remove that range and oven and put the battery down where the oven was and just get a nice flat top glass range. Dude, that would be so sweet. Yo, let's take a look. Let's spend the last few minutes here now that we did all that talking. Let's see if we can find like a nice glass range. I remember that there, it, the um, Lorna, Lorna Fines, she was giving away some glass ranges a while ago. Uh, that was a long time ago. Uh, okay, portable glass range. Um, not the pay show. Let's open this. And let's uh let's do uh camping. Propane gas range. No, I don't want that. Propane gas ranges, electric 1600 watt electric hot plate. Okay, maybe that. Oh, here's one with two burners on it, which is kind of sweet. 
not propane. I want electric. I want electric range, not gas, not a gas range. I put camping in there and a lot of gas ranges came up. Uh, okay. I know that I, you guys don't see what I see. Let's take a look at these two products real quick. Uh, look at this one. This one is 70 bucks, uh, $13 coupon. Okay. Uh, the payee show 1600 watt electric hot plate, single burner. Um, okay. 1600 Watts, eight power settings, five seconds to heat up 7.8 inch heating zone, 24 hour timer. I don't know what that means. Whole panel made by ceramic glass. Other hot plates, yeah, made by iron. There's nothing wrong with the iron and plastic hot plates, but the glass ones make me feel a little fancy. So what's this one? Bigger? I don't understand. Don't care. Look at here's the uh, here's the GTKZW electric double induction cooktop, uh, and look, it's two. It's two cooktops. That's fresh. Uh, and this would be like probably the right length to drop down onto. Uh, replacing like a four, I got a four burner range from a camper. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is it. Hold on a sec. I want to show you something. Okay, do, 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 just like this. No. Mm, yes. Better angle. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this picture here, this random picture that I just Googled. And uh, let me drag this up here. So look at this. If you are paying attention to what I'm blabbing on about, this is the this is an extremely similar looking stove that I have in my camper. So the range is four gas tops, and you have like a whole propane uh, oven. I would ne I've never, never used this. I've never used this. Imagine if I got rid of this whole thing and then put like a nice double glass top, something like this. Sorry. Um, you know what I was saying about, what was I saying? I was saying, um, I was saying, uh, that the glass top is great. I don't know if you heard me talking about the picture, but I'll just say what I was saying again. Um, I showed this picture of this glass of this countertop and I have the same stove in my camper, a four top burner. I don't ever use it. I've never used it. What if I remove that and then put one of these two burner glass top countertops down, not a uh, stove tops down. This is awesome, right? 
and then uh, and then I could just have it like inlay into the into the top of the uh, of the of the countertop is what I was saying, but also have the ability to lift it up and take it outside. And then I have the portability of being able to cook with it outside. And then I thought about it and I'm like, well, hey, if I'm just going to make this part of the kitchen, why don't I just remove my range and completely extend the countertop? And then I have the ability to have a huge countertop and I can take this uh, glass top range in and out whenever I want. Just free form thinking, Margaret about options that I could have for the camper uh, going forward and how I would like to do this with like a great um, portable battery, like an EcoFlow battery or a Blue Eddy battery or a Jackery battery. So many great battery options. <laughs> but yeah, replacing the four top burner with a two top glass great option and then all that extra space where you had the the oven you just use it for the battery that's everything that i said margaret and then i started um transitioning out of today's show and i was just saying thank you to you margaret i was thanking maximilian and donald halstead for joining the show today and i was thanking seabass for contributing to our likes count, which is almost 3,000. Um, uh, also, I want to say thank you to other people that watch the show. Travel Diva, thank you for coming out in the first hour of the show. Also, Stargazer and CD. Sorry uh, at the top of the show, CD. I know you're definitely not here now that I didn't have any PS4 or PS5 stuff to talk about. I will have a great day, Margaret. I hope that you have a great day, too. Now, tomorrow is Friday. I've got a show planned where I'm going to do some shoppable video recording. So I don't know if I'm going to do that here or if I'm going to do that over at my friend's house. But we are going to talk about like a bunch of products. I got to make some videos. I got to make some shoppable videos. So tomorrow's going to be a little shoppable Friday stream. Uh, it'll either be here or not here. So thank you for joining me today. Margaret, have a great day, of course. Everybody else who joined, thank you for your support. This has been an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. Okay, I've been your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. We will be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is in about 22 hours from now. Okay, much clown love, everybody. Whoop, whoop, and we'll see you tomorrow.